In this series of videos, I'm going to be going over the process to do a rendered floor plan using Adobe Photoshop CS6. So this is a relatively complicated procedure, but once you get the steps down, it's really not that difficult. What we're looking at here is the finished product. And then over on the right in the layers menu, we'll see how a file like this is set up. So you can see here that there's actually a fair amount of layers and really what we're going to be doing is treating it a bit like a coloring book. So at the very bottom we see that there's a white background and then as we move through the file we see that it's divided up into layers for walls, floors, shadows and highlights, then things like counters, individual pieces of furniture, and things of that nature. So just so you can see this a little better, I'm going to turn off all of these layers. So you can see here's the blank document with nothing, a white background acting a bit like a piece of paper. Here would be our actual floor plan here. And this is coming directly out of AutoCAD. So this would work just as well with a hand done drawing, something done in SketchUp, Revit, uh, you know, any piece of software like that. Uh, this was brought in directly from AutoCAD, so it's very neat and clean and easy to work with. Then each layer that's set up is basically a fill layer. So we do things like fill in the walls individually, the floors, adding shadows and highlights to make it a bit more three-dimensional. And then get into things like countertops, fixtures, and so on. And with this type of process, you can get as detailed or keep it as simple as you would like it. So by the time we get through the series of videos, you'll have something that's looking similar to what we have on the screen right now.